Here we have a problem involving the law of total probabilities. The law of total probabilities says that if you have the probability of something, it equals the probability of that thing intersecting with something else plus the probability of that thing intersecting with not something else. And let's see, a way we can represent this, if this is A and this is B, that first part, A intersecting with B, that's this. The second part, where A intersects with not B, that's the rest of this circle. So you can see how that adds up to that. This might seem obvious and um, not very useful, but if we combine this with some information we know about conditional probability, we can actually use it uh, in some surprising ways. Let's take a look at this problem. It says that Archie must travel to a foreign country where a deadly strain of flu has ravaged the population. Already 27% of the population has succumbed to the flu and died. That's actually our first number here. So the, we can say the probability of dying from the flu is 27% or 0.27. So I think I'll write that as the probability of death. So that's 0.27. And let's read on here. Uh, there is a vaccine, but because the flu is extremely contagious, it spreads quite rapidly, and to date, only four out of every 15 people have been vaccinated. So that's another probability there. So the probability of being vaccinated, I'll call that P of V, is four out of 15. Then it says 31% of those who are not vaccinated die from the flu. Now that's a conditional, that is, Given that you're not vaccinated, you have a 31% chance of dying. So the probability of death given not having been vaccinated is 0.31. It says Archie has just enough time to be vaccinated before he leaves. What is the probability that Archie will succumb to the flu and die while he is away? So what are they actually asking for here? They're telling us Archie will get vaccinated, and we want to know uh, what's the probability that he'll die. So this is another conditional. This is the probability of death when you have been vaccinated, and we don't know. We're looking for that. So how can we use the law of total probabilities to approach this problem? Well, let's start by writing it out. Let's say the pro uh, probability of death and we'll use death and being vaccinated because those are the facts we have. And we'll just write it out in the form of the law of probabilities, law of total probability. So this would be the probability of the intersection of death and vaccine plus the probability of the intersection of death and not being vaccinated. So there's the law of total probabilities. And it doesn't look like we can do much with that yet. But from our work with tree diagrams and conditional probabilities, we know we can write the intersection of something in a different way with a conditional. So this can become the probability of dying given you've been vaccinated times the probability of having been vaccinated. This is the same as this. It's just another way of writing it. And similarly, we can do uh, that here, so this is the probability of dying given you haven't been vaccinated times the probability of not having been vaccinated. And this all equals the probability of dying. Now we're really cooking. We have pretty much everything we need here. We know the probability of dying is 0.27, so I can fill that in there. And the probability of dying given that you've been vaccinated, that's actually what we're looking for. That's Archie. So we're going to just write that as it is. The probability of having been vaccinated is 4 out of 15. So we'll fill that in there. And now we have the probability of dying if you haven't been vaccinated. And we're told that's 0.31. And then we have the probability of not having been vaccinated. We weren't given that number, but we can get it easily with the complement rule. If the probability of being vaccinated is 4 out of 15, 1 minus 4 out of 15 is 11 out of 15. That's your probability of not being vaccinated. So this, if we just crunch the numbers and do the algebra here and solve, we should get the probability of dying 
if you have been vaccinated. We'll hope that's a low number, but uh, let's see. So I'm going to take 0 0.31 times 11, divide it by 15. So that's 0 0.2273. Um, we'll subtract that from 0.27. So that's going to give us over here 0 0.04 to seven about and then over here we've got our probability that we're looking for and four fifteenths so we're going to multiply both sides by 15 and then we're going to divide both sides by four so we'll do the crunching on that and we get 0.16 as the probability of dying if you have been vaccinated and that's smallish. It's still a 16% of dying even after you get the vaccine. So um, pretty risky trip Archie's taking there. But that's a little bit of work with the law of total probabilities.